Welcome back everybody, my name is Golden Boy and I know I've been away for a week but I am back and bringing you one more edition of the Golden Nugget. So the PlayStation 4 has released officially in Japan as of two days ago and numbers are actually doing pretty well. Of course, I don't think anyone expects the PlayStation 4 in Japan to reach the crazy numbers that the PS2 hit when it first released. Granted, the thing that you always have to remember is that the console market has had a lot of, you know, this, a lot of up and down, a lot of swing. So you're not going to expect to see some crazy sales, but the long term growth of the PlayStation 4 is certainly there and it's showing here in North America as well as Europe and now Japan is going to get a feeling of it too. DualShockers reported though that while the PS4 seems to be selling rather well in most major retailers, it's kind of weird that no one's really buying that many games. Of course, this could be attested to Knack being packed in with the console, or it could also be attested to the fact that you can have a lot of PS3 to PS4 transfers. So I don't know if this is uh, one of the major factors here. Of course, Day One Digital comes into play as well, but one game that definitely stood really well amongst the entire pack for the PS4 launch date was Yakuza Ishin. Yakuza Ishin is the latest from Sega, a game that basically is Grand Theft Auto, but with the Yakuza style to it. It's a game that's very popular in Japan, and I kind of wish that we got more of those games over here, but you know, it is what it is though. Yakuza Ishin doing really well. Dynasty Warriors came out over there as well. I believe it was Dynasty Warriors 8 Extreme Legends, and you had your usual kill zone and your battlefield, and those actually did pretty well as well. But what does this mean really? Well, this means that there aren't that many games to buy right now. Granted, I was head over heels for the Titanfall beta for the Xbox One, but like I said, it's a beta, so that eventually went away. I'm currently going gaga for the Final Fantasy XIV of Realm Reborn beta, but again, that's a beta, and that will slowly go away. So we do need these games to come out sooner, and they will, luckily, with Titanfall coming out right around the corner for the Xbox One, and Infamous Second Son coming out in March as well. It should be a great month for gamers who purchase their next-gen consoles, and something to keep them going. Bear in mind, too, Thief also came out, and that game came out to, you know, some decent reviews as well haven't had a chance to get my sink my teeth into everything but i do know for the most part thief is a thoroughly entertaining game the trailer definitely hooked me so i'm interested in that one and yeah i mean basically what it is right now is we're going to start to see the games roll out slowly and slowly and surely rest assured those games are coming and they couldn't have come soon enough because i know a lot of people were just looking at their consoles and saying well these are just glorified paperweights so might as well use it for that for the time being now another playstation 4 news and also related to the xbox one there's been a huge debate about about the whole issue with 720p, 900p, 1080p, all that garbo. While I personally don't give a damn because I play on a monitor and for me it doesn't really matter, you know, I know a lot of people out there really care about this kind of stuff. So DualShockers actually has a great article that they put out there comparing the resolutions of, uh, you know, particular games like EverQuest and Witcher 2 and a bunch of other games too. So feel free to check that out. I'll provide that information in the link down below. But I just want to say that I feel like resolutions and this whole resolution gate thing, I get it. I understand why people are angry angry about it. They paid an extra $100 for the Xbox One, but you weren't paying $100 for the Xbox One for the console. That extra 100 came from the Kinect. You know, I think we all knew that, but we all just kind of wanted to ignore it. I, I don't know. But anyway, my point is this. Look at these resolution things and say, yes, you know, it's a big deal and all that stuff, but I'm sure Microsoft as well as Sony and whoever, they're trying to work very hard to make sure that these games look great no matter what. No matter what the resolution is, the game is going to look fantastic. And that's the way I feel about it. And I digress on this subject. Lastly, in other gaming related news, Titanfall saw 2 million players participate in the beta. That is a lot of nuts and it's pretty awesome to know that Respawn was able to house that many players playing their game. Makes me really, really happy for the launch of Titanfall. I'm hoping that we don't have any issues like we commonly do with games like Battlefield 4 and anything released under EA like SimCity. I hope that we just have no problems at all. I think that's the mission or at least I hope so. So yeah, yeah, definitely cool stuff there. Two million people playing Titanfall. I have to say that number is quite impressive. Granted, it was a free beta. It was rolled out to everyone, so everyone had a chance to play it. I would imagine that the sales are going to be pretty good for this game when it comes out. It is going to be a console seller for the Xbox One. I know a lot of people tell me, yeah, but it's being released on PC and being released on 360. And I feel like for those people who, you know, are like, oh yeah, it's being released on 360. I'll just get it there. I think there's going to be a lot of people that just say, well, I'd rather get it on the Xbox One. So they're probably going to end up picking up an Xbox One anyway. For the PC people, they're, you know, the keyboard and mouse are die crew, so they'll just buy the PC and they'll stay in their own little land over there. But us console people, we 
will have it on the Xbox One and the 360 pretty soon. Should be fun. Let me know if you're picking up Titanfall in the comment section down below. So now it's time for me to ask you guys, what do you think about the recent resolution news? All the craziness that's going on there. Does it matter to you? Does 1080p, 720p, 900p, does the resolution of these consoles matter to you sound off in the comment section down below that's going to do it for me if you happen to enjoy this video you can hit the like button it's a thumb it looks just like this you take that mouse over get the clickety clack going on take it over to the subscribe button and do the same thing there it is so great to be back my name is golden boy take care and as always keep on winning peace